Hi everyone, this is the Doogie X95, an affordable Android smartphone that costs less than $70. But is it worth the money or not? That's what we're going to find out. So let's begin. Hey, where's the... Oh, here it is. You can already tell according to the box that the Doogie X95 is available in several colors. The X95 is an affordable smartphone that does well all the necessary things a smartphone should do in late 2020. The screen size is 6.52 inches, so this is a relatively big smartphone. The operating system here is Android 10 Go Edition, which is a lighter version of Android built for entry-level devices with less than 2 GB of RAM. I think it works great with common uses and apps such as surfing the web, navigating on Google Maps and playing videos on YouTube. This is what came in the package with the Doogie X95. The most important things are the charger that has a micro USB cable and a transparent PU protective cover. At the center top of the screen is a water drop notch with a 5 megapixel front camera. At the back, the X95 has a triple rear camera. The top lens is a 13 megapixel ultra clear camera, the left lens is a 2 megapixel portrait camera, the right lens is a 2 megapixel double X zooming camera, and the white circle at the bottom, this is the flash. At the top, the X95 has a 3.5mm audio jack. At the bottom, you can see the micro USB port and two speakers, one from each side. On the left is the volume button, and on the right is the power button and the SIM and memory card slot. Let's use the pin to open it. By the way, the X95 has a 16GB internal storage capacity. You can use up to 2 nano SIM cards or use one micro SD card to extend the storage with up to 128GB. The battery's capacity is 4350mAh and it is non-removable. Setting up the X95 is easy, like any other Android smartphone. While I show you this process, I would like to emphasize that I don't notice a big difference between the Android 10 Go version and the normal Android 10 version. The X95 is supposed to offer facial recognition. From what I know, this feature was removed from Android 10 and currently I don't use it anyway. But if I would do that, then I'll update this info in the full review on my website. In the next several moments, I'll go over the different menus that I find relevant before purchasing a new smartphone. Please let me know what things you want me to show in my future smartphone reviews. can see the available languages that you can use with this smartphone. I'm showing that because I'm not sure if this is determined by the Android operating system or the smartphone itself. If you know the answer to that, please write it in the comments. Ok, let's see what the camera is worth. Right now I'm shooting a video in daylight and I hope you can have a good indication how it looks like. Well, I'm taking a video during the night. I'm outside right now. I'm walking while shooting the video. If you can see the numbers on the plates of the cars, then I guess it says a lot about the camera. This is true night mode. 
Well, boys and girls, right now you see me using the front camera of the Doogie X95 at night. I'm shooting this video while striding, while walking in the street. And we're back in the studio. Hopefully you enjoyed the videos that I shot with the Doogie X95, but you probably want to see several still photos, right? Well, I took care of that, so have a look. Well, boys and girls, this was my video review of the Doogie X95 Android smartphone. For more details about it, please check the full review on my website www.originalvideoreviews.com. If you still have any questions about it, please comment on this video and I will do my best to help you with that. If this video review was helpful and you enjoyed watching it, I invite you to give it a like. Also, I invite you to subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow me on the other social networks. I would like to thank you for watching another great video by Original Video Reviews. Until next time, bye-bye.